Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be the kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Psalm 24, please read responsibly by whole verse. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, 
the world and all who dwells therein. Who could ascend the hill of the Lord, and who could stand in this holy place? Those who are putting the hands of the Lord, who have not felt themselves, nor sworn by what is wrong. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, and a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, and those who seek the face of the Lord. Lift up your heads, O gates, lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord is strong and mighty, and the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is he? He is the King of glory. The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. The Epistle is from Revelation. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
please stand. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. When Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench, because he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. The Gospel of the Lord. Phúc Văn Giang Từ đoạn 11 Câu 32 đến câu 44 Maria đến nơi Đức Chúa Giêsu đứng Vừa thấy Ngài Nàng phủ phục nơi chân Ngài Và nói Lại Chúa Nếu Ngài có ở đây Anh con đã không chết khi Đức Chúa Giêsu thấy nàng khóc và những người do thái đi với nàng khóc, ngài bồi hồi xúc động và nói rằng: các ngươi chôn nấy ở đâu? Họ trả lời: lại Chúa, xin ngài đến xem. Đức Chúa Giêsu khóc. Người do thái nói với nhau: xem kìa, ngài yêu bên ông ấy biết bao. Nhưng một vài người trong họ nói Ngài đã mở mắt cho người mù thấy được Mà không thể làm cho người này khỏi chết sao Đức Chúa giê lại xúc động trong lòng Ngài bước đến phần mộ Và phần mộ là một cái hang Và có một vật tảng đá nằm chắn ở cửa hang Đức Chúa giê phán Hãy lăn tảng á, ấy đi Má tên con gái người chết thưa với Ngài Lạy Chúa, anh ấy đã chết có mùi Vì anh ấy đã chết bốn ngày rồi Đức Chúa Giêsu nói với nàng Ta chả nói với ngươi rằng Nếu ngươi tin, người sẽ thấy vinh hiển Đức Chúa Trời Sao? Vậy họ lăn tặng đá ra Đức Chúa Giêsu ngước mắt lên và nói Lạy cha, con cảm ơn cha Vì cha nhận lời con dù con biết cha nhận lời con nhưng con nói ra để như vậy để đám đông đứng xung quanh tin rằng chính cha đã sai con sau khi nói như thế ngài kêu lên một tiếng hỏi la sao rơ hãy ra đi người chết lăn ra tay chân còn quấn giải niệm và mặt vẫn còn bổ khăn đức dương đi xuống phán Hãy gỡ ra đi và để anh ấy đi Đó là lời Chúa Chúng ta là Chúa In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Please be seated Did I not tell you that if you believe you would see the glory of God Today it is fitting that we have this jazz service with this wonderful music because today is All Saints Sunday and it's the day that we remember all of those who have gone before us and who have made it possible for us
to live in this world and to know God and worship in this sanctuary. It is a day of celebration. As Christians, we do not fear death. We know through the resurrection of Jesus Christ that death cannot overcome us. Our faith tells us that God is with us and God will protect us even from that most calamitous event. It's not an ending. Our lives are not ending. Our lives are with God and we will have eternal life. So today, with joy and happiness, we remember not only all of those whom we have loved personally, who have been taken from us, but we remember all those who went before to build our faith, all those who contributed to make this church a sanctuary, a place where we can come together and explore our faith, and to not be afraid of the evil in the world, but to know God and to know that He will overcome all that we fear. This morning in our Gospel we hear about the resurrection of Lazarus, a good friend of Jesus. He has died. There are three things that we should take from this Gospel. The first thing is that the resurrection is to come in the future. We don't know exactly how or why it will happen. We only know that it will happen and that one day we will be reunited with all those whom we love and we will live together forever. We know that God promises this to us, but that it will happen in the future. Lazarus, come out. We get a little foretaste of what that day of resurrection will be like. Imagine yourself, maybe last night, deep in sleep, when the alarm goes off. Boom! Get up. Imagine yourself napping on a couch or in the grass under the sunlight, and suddenly you startle awake from a sleeping moment. And you suddenly are aware of the world around you. Imagine your child is off far from you, and you say, child, come here. These moments of being startled awake and suddenly being aware of the world around you after you have been far away somewhere else. This is the moment of the resurrection. This is what it will be like when God says to each of us, come out and we will arise from the dead and be with God. This happened to Lazarus. This happened to Jesus. This will happen for us. Secondly, it's important to remember as we hear that Jesus wept when he heard that Lazarus had died that God suffers with us, that we do not suffer or die alone. God dies with us. God has taken human form and has died himself. A terrible death, a crucifixion. No matter what we may suffer, he has suffered it as well. He is with us in our moments of fear and turmoil and sickness and death. And he is beside us, guiding us to eternal life. And finally, it is a job or work or an effort to find God. God is not something that we can purchase at the store or come in contact with and suddenly have within us. It takes time and effort and desire to find God. And one of the things that we must realize is that the real world around us draws us away from God. Too often things that we believe or things that we think we need keep us from having faith in God. But when we see through our own needs, our selfish desires, our chasing after idols, it's then that we find that the true God has been there before us all the time. 
And when we work to develop that faith in God, we find that God is beside us, that He is walking with us, that we do not journey alone in this world, but that God is beside us, holding us up, guiding us, loving us, and bringing us to eternal life. Through faith, we come, we come to find that this is true. And so this day, we celebrate all who have, come, who have gone before us, knowing that we will be reunited with them. That just as God has died himself and risen from the dead, so through our faith, we too will be awakened like Lazarus, and we will be called by God to eternal life. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please stand and let us say together the words of our faith as they are written in the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all holy sin and blessing. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God of God, light of light. Be God, 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 not made, of one being, being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under the conscious power. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of God, who sees from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people are Form 6. In peace we pray to you, Lord God. For all people in their daily life and work, friends and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world. For all the world, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who are sick, the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who are in the gospel and the law of the truth. For Michael, our presiding bishop. For Susan, Jennifer, and Porter, our bishops. For Steve, our interim rector. And for all bishops and other ministers. For all who serve God in the church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation, you may add your petitions now, either silently or aloud. O Heavenly Father, your love for us is unfailing. You have blessed this church, a caring community where all are welcome and each is valuable. Renew our faith during this time of transition. Be with our pastoral search committee 
Give them unity of purpose and help them listen carefully to your voice. Let us be mindful that you are calling the right person to shepherd your flock as St. Patrick. All this we ask in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Hear us, Lord. Your mercy, mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. Especially for our wonderful music provided this morning. Amen. We will exalt you, O God, our King. Amen. Praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. Who put their trust in you. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy, have mercy upon, upon us, most merciful Father. Give us mercy. Amen. Amen.
you. And also to you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. For you are the source of light and life. You made us in your image and called us to new life in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name.
Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Espírito lá.
Thank you.